Right, so Luke, we, we come down to the bottling plant where you, you're going to bottle the, the milk from your cow. So tell me a little bit about this. Uh, so in there, they're doing the milk bottling now and we do um, skimmed whole milk um, and semi-skimmed milk. And we've got cream as well. Um, and there's cheese room in there as well. Um, and then we sell it to shops and cafes around the island and then through our farm shop and cafe as well. So has this made a big difference to your farming? Uh, definitely. I think it's going to secure the future of our farm yeah. um, with dairy farming being on its knees at the moment um, and who knows where it will go and how it will help the Isle of Wight. I've already seen some of it in the local village shop where I'm staying actually. Yeah. There's nice little bottles you've got there isn't it? Very distinctive sort of milk bottle. Yeah, they, 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 they spent the a lot of time getting the brand yeah. right and getting it to look attractive for, for the buyer. It looks really so, good. Yeah. Brilliant, let's go and have a look then. Cool. So we're in the clean room here, I've just got to take my wellies off. Look at this. It's all very clean and hygienic, no outdoor footwear beyond this point. And I think I'm going to be wearing a pair of white wellies and overall. And we're washing our hands. Right, so we're all talked up, and here's Paul. And he's, what's your role in this? Me, I'm basically the person that bosses everyone around. Right. Um, but we've we, I was a farmer, yeah. <laughs> still am in, in name, but I don't do so much farm work anymore. Do more milk processing. Right. So, so you were just saying earlier, you were, you bottled, used to bottle this by hand? Yeah, for 10 years we were filling up bottles with a, with a jug and a bucket. Crikey. In the uh, dairy next to the milking parlour. And wow. it was a nightmare. But we, we ended up doing, oh, about, um, I'm going to say, two or three thousand litres a week like that. Wow, that's hard work. Yeah. So now you've got a state-of-the-art bottling plant. We have. So when did this, when was this put in? We've finished, it's, it's only been installed the last couple of months. Oh wow, because it's still really a few shiny teething new. problems, we've got yeah. engineers back today, but yeah. yeah. Oh, we're going to have a look then. Please. Oh. Wow. Alright, so we're in the in the bottling plant yeah. now. So what what have we got here then? There's a lot of work going on and the team working on this machine at the moment. Okay, well we've got the engineers in today just doing some final adjustments. Yeah, with a hose pipe. How the room works is that mm. the milk trailer the tanker parks outside, right. the raw milk comes through the wall. Oh okay, through those pipes there. That's right, and yeah. into the pasteuriser and separator. Right. So from there we can blend back. We can either take whole milk, uh, we can blend whole milk with skim milk to make semi-skim, or we'll have plain skim milk or cream. And then the finished products are then pumped up Ooh, top. Going right up there. To... Where, oh, oh, wow, you've got the big tanks up there. Yeah. Okay. And then from there, we'll gravity feed the rotary bottle filler. You can see from this side. Right. Okay. Come down through the filler. Right. Well, I'll just go around here a minute. Is that right? Literally, we're starting with the bottles here. Can you see that? We've got a mechanisation on the left, but we've got a lady here who's the bottle filler, and you've got a massive, you've got a massive bag of bottles. So you're literally filling by hand. Yes. Wow.
fridge now. Ooh. Oh, this is all the supplies then. God, it's freezing in here. Why me? So here we have it. The finished product. Is that a glass bottle? Oh, it's a plastic bottle. Oh, plastic bottle. Whole milk, that's the best stuff to my opinion. That's so that's not that's been pasteurised. Yeah. Um, we do sell it unpasteurised. Right. We won't bottle that in the ground in the dairy still, so oh, we don't okay. don't bring unpasteurised and contaminate it. Oh okay, so yeah. kept separate. Yeah. So what we got here then we've got we've got little bowls. That's five hundred milliliters. Right. It's funny to see it all in So this is all whole milk then, is it? Oh, whole milk. Stretch. Hello. Hello. Now we got some. What's that? What's that? Cheese? Is it? Is that your cheese? This is our blooming. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Blooming style cheese. And that's from your cows as well. Yeah. You must be very proud of what you've all yeah. achieved here, really. Yeah. I got think the whole family chips in. I'm, I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far. Yeah. I think you've done a really good job. You know. Thank you. See the cheese room now. It's freezing in there. Where's the cheese room? Oh, okay. So, oh wow, just cutting cheese. Wow, oh, hello, Auntie Debbie. Is it Auntie Debbie? Is it? Auntie Debbie. Is Auntie it? Debbie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Auntie Debbie. So, we, we, what are you doing here? Are you actually... um, this is the care filly. Yeah. And um, I'm just cutting it up to see what the uh, texture's like. Um, wow. So, uh, yes. And what would you do with that afterwards? You'll... Uh, well, the, we'll, uh, we'll be um, selling this next week, so okay. yeah, it'll be ready. I just to noticed, you're right, these are all the cheese moulds, are they? These are actually ones we're not using at the moment. Right. They're a bit redundant. Okay. Um, they're for, for softer cheese. Right. But, uh, yeah. And what sort of cheeses do you make here? Then? Uh, we're doing hard cheeses, we're doing carefully, gouda, cheddar. Quite a selection. Um, yeah, feta and yeah. halloumi. So, wow, that's yeah. a lot of cheese. I know, I think, um, yeah. I don't are you, know why is it you so totally in charge of the cheese production or are there uh, a team? Um, myself and Izzy, um, right. all sister. Wonderful. Yeah, well, that's, yes, that's really yeah. good. We're going to see this one open in a minute, are we? Yes, yes. That was just tiny, wasn't it, the, turning um, up? Yeah, see what the texture's like. That's, okay. That looks really good. So nice what are you looking for in, in the, that cheese when you um, open it up? Just a, a good body um, in the cheese and when you cut into it, just... Um, you know, just a, a good body. It doesn't sort of break up yeah. too much. Doesn't go too grainy. Okay. And uh, yeah, so. Nice. So, um, okay. so what age is that cheese then? Um, this one is two weeks. Two weeks. So it's quite a quick turnaround then, well, isn't it? is good because mm. um, two weeks you can you can get it out and um, sell it. Um, right. Miners used to eat it years ago. It was mm. a cheap cheese, cheaper than cheddar. So really. You to mature it. Oh, so okay. Long. All right. That's interesting. And it replaced their salt. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so. oh, brilliant. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> so what's this room called this then? This is the maturing room. The maturing room, it's, wow. It's um, actually an old shipping container. Is Sorry. It? Actually an old it's shipping container. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, so... Paula had the idea, we had these shipping containers and uh, they used to be used um, for frozen food. Right, yeah, it's and all stainless so we, steel yeah, hygienic. Yeah, so we can turn this into our maturing room because we didn't have much space there. And we've got all our um, cheeses here all sort of dates um, yeah dates, uh, so you put a sort of muslin around them i see their marks no it's not actually it's the mold they're oh, okay. called um loud loud and molds they're, right you don't have to put cheesecloth in yeah. them so they don't get messy and, and you know you haven't got mm. to wash your cloths afterwards they've got tiny little pin holes in right them, and it's they drain these are the, mold, the molds that are run on the cheddar Okay. And the gouda, yeah. But the carefully, we want to keep a sort of fresher tasting cheese, mm. so we don't want the mould tainting the the flavour, the subtle flavour. Wow. So they got quite a moulding cover yeah, on there, but I mean that's this, nothing wrong with that, is that? No, but this one's had um, they, they you put plastic coat on them, which right. is most people do nowadays. Mm. Um, uh, so it's like a, a, a rind on it. Um, you can't you can't eat, but no. it just protects the cheese. Okay, so you cut and that off, and then underneath is the perfect off, cheese. Yeah, yeah. But, um, that is brilliant, isn't it? And you've got all the dates here, so you know exactly when no, they were exactly, put in. Yeah. Raw milk. That cheddar. was a raw milk one, which yeah. we did with Paul Thomas when he came down. We won't be able to sell that because we haven't. We'd, we'd have to be cleared by right. mental health to use the raw milk. Okay. And we didn't, it was jumping over a lot of hurdles. Yeah, so what are you going to do, that? eat that yourself? Yeah. You're you like that. <laughs> Nothing fam, wrong with that, I, I eat that. Christmas presents. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful, that's the best Christmas present anyone can hope for, isn't it? <laughs>
Well, this is brilliant, isn't it? Nice big cheddar, yeah. You got a lot of cheese in here. Yeah, we're getting there. We're just getting a yeah. stock. I think it takes a while to build up the stock level to the amount that you, it does. you and, need uh, to sell. But by the time, you know, Christmas time, yeah. if we get, you know, if we get a lot of people buying it, we want a good, good... So have you put any of these in the shop yet or not? Uh, Next week. Next yeah. week. So really, it's, this, I'm really here at a really good know, time then to see good. this. Well, it's really it's wonderful. Early days, so. Thank you so much for showing me that. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, so we've had a pretty good tour of the dairy. So thanks very much for showing me. Um, and where, can you remind me where people can come and find this milk and your cheese and everything? Well, we're, the main place to find it is, is Bridlesford Lodge Farm. That's our, our farm and we've got a, a lovely shop and cafe there. Um, Website? Website bridlesford.co.uk. Brilliant. Well, everyone who's on holiday, hopefully they'll come and see this and have a, a pint of milk and a bit of cheese or something and something in the cafe. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank Brilliant. You. Thanks very much.